So she did endure a lot because on 13th Jamadi Thani, Umm al 64 after Hijrah, she passed away. Karbala and the tragedy of Karbala and the loss of her four sons and Hussein alayhi salam, her master, was 61 after Hijrah. So imagine two years after the tragedy of Karbala, Umm al passed away. She did not last any longer. She could not endure any more sufferings. Uh, and this is why we remember her. We remember her mission in life. We remember what she sacrificed for her four sons. We remember her because we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a great position for this lady, Umm al uh, Because she, she sacrificed for his sake also. Uh, imagine many of us have tried ourselves that we have problems that they are so hard to be solved and no mm-hmm. one else can help us through this problem and we don't know what to do so at one minute we just read Fatha for Umm al and many of us have tried it yeah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of the sake of Umm al and because of the mission that she had in life that she completed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make our problem solved. And many of us have tried it, mm-hmm. that we get into a point where like, okay, Fatha for al Bani, let's see how this goes. With anything, to be honest, with finding a parking, I know it always works yeah. with finding a parking, for example. Yeah, London with people, anything, they always yeah, do that because exactly. they suffer Fatha from parking. With, uh, for Umm al-Banin and subhanAllah. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He knows how much He gave to him. So He gave, he gave her something yeah. that when we ask for Allah for the sake of Umm al help us, He will... He will like solve our problems. Yeah. 